it, it, it will be fun to watch how God grows this ministry because mm-hmm. um, it's so worth it. In 2019 at FPC Douglasville, we recorded over one and a half terabytes of content. That's 1,500 gigs, which is roughly 60 hours of footage. Lots of footage to chronicle God's story in us and through us. Tons of ministry, both here and afar. Lots of promos to get your attention, to invoke action, to offer opportunities to serve, care, grow, invite, and worship. Lots of videos to guide and secure our mission to sow seeds, to share the gospel, and to love our neighbor. So just as a brief overview about the ministry, Embrace Grace is specifically targeted to women and girls who are pregnant and single. So it's a really cool opportunity to reach out to our community, to invite people in that may not ordinarily attend our church. Or any church. Right. Um, And just the opportunity to love on them in a time of crisis, um, show them uh, just God's endless love and... Abundant grace. Grace, yep with no judgment, which is a big deal for them. Um, so it's just an amazing display of, of God's love on many levels. It makes us aware of the need, you mm-hmm. know. So often we don't, we're not aware of the needs of others. And so it's just, it's been very eye-opening and um, humbling. When you, you have know, to think too, that not only are we impacting those girls' lives, but it can impact their child's lives down the road. It impacts their their families, their friends who see, uh, come to the baby shower and they see all of this love that's being just given out with no expectation in return. No expectation at all. That's right. Something like this, I rolled down my window. Hey! Krista, embrace Grace! You in? <laughs> Work together. Um, <laughs> so, well, just to back up a little bit, I had first heard about Embrace Grace um, in 2018, January of 2018, two years ago, through social media or a blog post or something. And my, I had talked about it with Melanie Gibbs. And we had considered doing it, but at that time, it just wasn't the right time for various reasons. And so we put it on the back burner. And fast forward two weeks, we're, I'm leaving church with my family, and April pulls up in her car with her family, and she rolls down the window, and she said, <laughs> Hey, Krista, I want to talk to you. <laughs> and she said, Embrace Grace. I talked to James and he said we could do it. And Sarah said, you wanted to do it once too. Are you interested? Are you in? (laughs) And I'm pretty sure, something like that, and pretty sure that my jaw was on the floor. And um, I was like, okay. So (laughs) then we approached the congregation and here we are. We did ask the girls to complete a survey at the end of the semester. And some of them did and some of them didn't, but there's some really neat things that came out of that. So in asking them what they learned, one girl said, I'm not alone, God is intentional. Another one said, leave it to God and he will handle the rest. And another one was, listen to God's voice and not any of the negative things your mind may tell you. And and one of them said, if I could go back and do it over again, I definitely would. It was the best part of my 2019 year. I thought that was really cool. That was really cool. Yeah. Oh, another quote I wanted to share was from the baby shower day. Um, One of the girls said, I was not going to have a baby shower, um, and I have everything I could possibly need now. I'm still in shock. So, and this is from someone who just is just as kind as can be, but just was not in a place where they would have have a baby shower. It was also beautiful to see them get to minister to each other. So... That was very powerful, I thought. Mm -hmm. Um, One bloom realized, so we refer to them as blooms, 
One Bloom realized during the semester that she's really good at encouraging people and she just loved that. And it made her realize that that's something she wants to pursue, helping others, encouraging others. Um, and a different Bloom, a couple of them have had some domestic violence issues in their past. Um, and, and one who's a little further along in that process was very encouraging to another. Um, it just was neat that they could not just receive love and ministry, but get that chance to minister to other people because that's that's a real cool it's blessing. Very important. Yeah, to walk that into a church, know. it's not pregnant, church. not married, not sure it's not their church. They don't know these people. They don't know what is about to happen, what these crazy people might say. <laughs> One of them said, <laughs> she said, the first day I came, she was like, these people are just too nice. <laughs> give them all hugs and we well every week everybody gets a hug so um but then she realized that we were sincere <laughs> this crazy girl <laughs> we were sincere and and they they had trust in us yeah. they they trusted us yeah. they realized that we truly do love them and that there was no judgment nope. and we just wanted to cheer for them Thank you, church. Oh my gosh. Love you. Church. You're the best. Congregation, you guys are out of control amazing. You are what made it possible for us to show these girls God's unconditional and endless love. All those presents, the food you brought for breakfast, yeah. all the help at Princess Day they and really the like shower. The yeah, they really like the food. They really like the food each week. Um, the wrapping day. Wrapping that took a so small fun. army. I think we had 20 people to wrap presents. But it didn't take long. Right. And it was fun. I mean, just all of that. Really it phenomenal. would not have worked without such a supportive congregation who welcomed these women and loved them. And yeah, we can't without thank question. you enough for that. Just welcome them without question. Mm -hmm. So thank yeah. you so much. Totally thrilled because not every church would have been as welcoming and as willing to support. We have a special church. We do.